Hello again, and welcome to episode 6 of my survival Minecraft Let's Play series. My game is currently frozen. There we go. Um, so I have been doing a little bit off camera. I've kind of expanded out and fenced off more area around the house. As you can see, this area. So, leveled everything out and uh, added this fence round more. The glass is all in place now. Got rid of the ugly fences. I opened up the inside of here as well. I kept this sort of, sort of like a structural beam, but opened it up thinking it's not much point in having it separate, separated. Um, Made a load more chests, not that there's anything in most of them, but just filled this out. I've changed my FOV slightly as well, so let me know if it's any better or worse. I kind of just felt like the other time it was a bit zoomed in. Um, and you may be wondering why, how I've got so many iron tools in my inventory, and also iron armor, and a shield, and also... If I go right over here, you'll see I've got quite a lot of iron going on. And that's because I followed a guide to make an iron farm. So I'll, I'm not taking any credit for it as, as I just, you know, went on YouTube and found what seemed to be a good video and followed the guide. And it does actually work. So I'll leave a link in the, in the video description to that guide I watched. I think it was from Voltrox. I may be saying that wrong, or, um, but I'll I'll leave a, a link to it. But this is kind of what it looks like, and as you see. Um, the general idea. I mean, I I, I don't fully understand the, the the village system yet. But there are three villages inside there, and then there's a zombie sat in a boat that's stuck, and. For whatever reason, that means that these uh, iron golems spawn, and because this all this area is made into a path, they can't spawn on paths apparently. So basically, he has to spawn in here, and then he burns to death. <laughs> um, and there's a hopper going into this chest. But yeah, I don't, I don't even, you know, I, I don't fully get the village system anyway. And this is a little cabin I just made so I can sit here. Um, to make sure you know it all, the chunks stay loaded and all that. Um, but yeah, that works. So. As you can see, it's pretty cool. So, I mean, it is kind of cheating, isn't it, really? But, I mean, it's using the Minecraft uh, physics <laughs> or mechanics or whatever to your advantage. But hopefully that's uh, okay with you guys. I, anyway, I thought for this episode I'd start to mine. I mean, I think this is the longest I've ever gone in Minecraft survival without mining. Normally it's pretty much the first thing I do. Um, but for, yeah, for whatever reason it seems to have not really been on the agenda, so... I feel like I need some more torches. Or at least to bring some sticks if I, can, if I don't have any coal, I can't remember now. Let's just bring sticks. And we can make some as we go. Um, and I mean, with all this iron, it'll be interesting to make some sort of, uh, like, rail system. But I'm thinking to mine down from here. Well, I'm not sure if I should do a staircase or just go straight down. And use ladders. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Or do I do a staircase with three wide? So in the future, I can have a rail, no, uh, like yeah, rail tracks going down one side, all the way down, and then up the other side again. Maybe I do that. Yeah, let's try that. So I'm probably going to need to bring this back quite a bit. So I'd like them to be quite uh, 
the staircases to be quite tall so you don't smash your head when you're sprinting down. I think that's just about deep enough, I think. It would be a wise idea to bring the stairs on it straight away. I'm really unsure of the uh, mining heights as well nowadays. I... I mean, yeah, last time I played, the worlds were a lot uh, shorter in height. So you would always mine for you know, most things like diamonds, like around level 12. But yeah, the last time I, when I started my first series, which was only a couple of weeks ago, yeah, I realized the worlds were a lot deeper now. So all the sort of heights changed of where you're sort of most efficiently supposed to mine. And I still don't really know where to, where to go, but... If I remember, it was a lot deeper than I thought. Like minus 50 or something, I think it was, for diamonds. But, I mean, we're not... Yeah, we need, we want diamonds, but we also want like lapis and coal, probably gold and other things. Um, so, yeah, let's make a load of staircases. Well, actually, we'll only have the middle bit of stairs, won't we, for now? If we're going to potentially put train tracks on the... Uh, on the the outsides. Yeah, I apologise for having to talk quietly again. There is a sleeping child close by. <laughs> Mine. I may have to. <laughs> I have to. Uh, what's the word? Confirm. No. You know what I mean. Hopefully. Is this supposed to, does this need to be one more? I think this needs to be one level deeper, actually. I've never really done those uh, farms before, like automated farms. I remember years and years back, I, I used to always do like super basic uh, cactus farms and things like that. I, you know, you could, if they grow to touch something, they automatically like pop off. So you could literally plant them um, with a block like diagonal to them just one level up so as soon as they grew one level up it would the cactus would pop off and then you could just have water underneath them to sort of push uh, all the cactus into a chest I'm not even sure I mean back then cactus wasn't even useful <laughs> I don't think you could even do anything with it but I imagine that's all different nowadays you probably use it in potions and dyes and all sorts Crazy how long Minecraft's been around and how popular it still is. It must be a record for a sort of long lasting but also active game. I mean, actively played. But I mean, a actively developed as well, I guess, if it's uh, still getting updates, which I assume it is. funny to think that such a small game studio created the game and was eventually bought out by Microsoft. That's just crazy. I 
think I underestimated how many pickaxes I'm going to need. And I also should be placing torches, shouldn't I? Oops. We don't want mobs appearing. We are running quite low on torches though. I still have no idea what copper she's used for. Is there a way of showing what recipes a material has? I assume you can, on the wiki you would say, I was just wondering if there was a, a mod or something that would be quite useful, if it could tell you what recipes like you could use the, the material for. Sure, if uh, mine carts and rail tracks and all that have uh, changed at all, I haven't touched them since years back. I assume you can still get the uh, like powered rails and all that sort of thing to go like up and downhill. Because I am going to need that. And then the yeah, there was one with the chest, wasn't there? Um, oh yeah, a minecart with a chest on. <laughs> Whatever that was called. Uh, was it was it minecart? I made that. Up. Furnace chest, TNT hopper. That's just iron. Okay. What about the rail track? Iron and stick. What about powered rail? Gold and a stick. Okay. So we definitely want. So, okay, at least that's one use for gold. That was another question I had. What do you use gold for? I know you can make tools and things, but apart from that, I wasn't quite sure. So, that's definitely a reason to get gold then. To get some powered rails. That'll be quite fun. Quite sure what level I should dig down to. Quick. 
really do with some coal. Okay, or something, yeah. Feel like I should um put a torch down here. Oops. <laughs> Let's go and explore this cave. Interesting. Right, there's a bunch of iron down there. Hello. I am 
very easily going to get lost here. My pickaxe isn't looking too good either. That looks like gold. for getting out of here <laughs> oh god oh, there's lots of stuff down there not looking good. <sighs> Nor is my inventory space. low on oh, my pickaxe. Do you want that? Wow, 31 just from that.
Right, I think it's time to try and find my way back. Which is probably going to be easier said than done. Uh, um, yeah, let's... Let's see how this goes. Is. Why am I jumping? Question is, which side did I come from? I'm gonna say that side. That didn't sound good. Pickaxe gone. the correct to me well obviously it wasn't this way it's weird though because there's coal stones here is it more that way? Like that's going too deep, shall I? Oh god. Put a marker down, shouldn't I? More iron. Surely I didn't run past all this iron. More iron. Iron. <laughs> this is not the right way at all. The piss. Hmm. Trouble. Mm -hmm. This is not good. arrow <laughs> doesn't help when we see where did I just come from Dead end. Where the hell did I come from? Did 
they go up there? Come from up there, maybe? This doesn't look. Oh god. This looks like somewhere I'd find diamond. Jesus, Robin Hood. Oh god. That Enderman I just saw. I'm surprised I'm not seeing much diamond or any. That is a lot of things trying to kill me. I'm not feeling very. Um. Confident about this. Brass block. That's weird. Alright, let's think. No wood for a crafting bench. No pickaxes. Hmm. Nowhere. <laughs> no idea where I am. isn't going to help me, is it? I mean, or west. It's southwest is the general direction. So that way, generally. I can't see anything if I... I can do that. Oh, Southwest. So this general, he doesn't look friendly. Oh, God. Is this a route? No. It's a route. The torches, that's quite useful. So it's way that way, it's way that way. Let's go.
Is this the same place I just came from? Inception. Gold. Oh. God, we are really stuck here. Like, really stuck. What is that? Ash. He got so much health, Jesus. Here again. <laughs> what is happening? I mean, it must be in this general direction, wasn't it? Is that a way up there? a route oh no it's a dead end back to the scary pit I mean, there were mines there, and I went under however many levels to around here. Like somewhere around here. Did I go that way? That's the dead end, isn't it? So it's in here. But some way that way. There must be a way. That looks like a dead end, isn't it? Yep. Uh... Was where I went last time. That didn't look right. This feels like a different direction again. Oh, 
Well, I apologize for the, uh... Oh god. The... Not very relaxing nature of this video so far. <laughs> I'm definitely not very relaxed right now. Oh no. Keep finding dead ends. Very clever. <sighs> That's going to be a dead end, probably, isn't it? Maybe not. Get up there. I could do that. <laughs> oh no. 30 meters that way. How did I get so lost? If we actually found a way back from that, I, th I thought we were <laughs> literally gone then. You right, that's a uh, a learning, then, isn't it? Never go down to a mine without a load of pickaxes. I mean, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? Ay, ay, ay. Was the most unrelaxing uh, <laughs> cave experience. Maybe 
mean, we got some bits and pieces. It wasn't completely a waste of time. Well, I think, how long was that? 47 minutes. Well, if you're still watching at this point, comment Jupiter. That's a secret word. Hopefully you didn't just skip to the end either and cheat. <laughs> but yeah, um, thank you for watching. I think I'll end it there and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.